Well, I've been keeping a little secret and to say that I'm absolutely stoked and just over the moon would be an understatement. Um, obviously, yeah, if you watch my channel, you see how much fishing I do, you see how much I enjoy my boat, you see, you know, just how much I get out and how much a part of it is of, you know, I guess of what I do. Um, and being boatless for, God, I don't even know how long it's been, it feels like forever, um, has absolutely, it's been bloody difficult, but the wait's over and I've been waiting a long time for this thing. Um, you know, this, is, this has been a, a bit of a wait, but it's finally here. And, you know, I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody that supports my, my, my stores, my business, you know, my channel, um, you know, all of that, because, you know, something, you know, to be able to get something like this wouldn't be possible without the support that we get from, you know, you guys watching, you guys coming in and, and, and buying stuff from us in the shop and, you know, um, to, to be, I can't even describe, I can't even describe, I can't even describe it. <laughs> to be able to have something like this in my in my hands and own something like this is just it's oh it's just it's unreal. So guys I'm gonna give you a bit of a walkthrough on my new boat. Um, and over the over the coming weeks you're gonna see, well actually you're gonna see a shitload of, of new good content. Um, but let's get into it and I'll give you a look at this bad boy. is a Contender 30 ST, a brand new 2023 model. Um, I've got it from Boat Monster in New South Wales. So Sam at Boat Monster is the distributor for these boats and knows whatever, he doesn't know about this boat, these boats yet. I mean, you don't need to know. He knows absolutely everything about them. And the one thing I'm gonna say is the fit out that these guys have done on this boat is like, oh my God, it's actually unbelievable. They really have, um, it, it's top notch, you know. Um, I, I can't fault it. The wiring's absolutely just impeccable. Um, they really have done an unreal job. So, um, if you're looking to get a contender, guys, get on, go, get on board to Boat Monster. Get in contact with him, and um, yeah, I'm sure they can can get you one of these as well. But check it out. So, we've gone with the haze grey hull. And you can see that I just think it looks absolutely unreal. We've got the white top deck and we have the white 300 twin 300 Mercury Verados. Um, I just wanted these engines. I, I couldn't own a boat. If I was buying a new boat, I had to get these engines. I was stoked to get them in white, but that hull is just, I mean, in the light, it's just unreal. I mean, I could have got a white boat, but you know, the white on the on the grey, I reckon it just looks epic. And we got the black and red Contender logo. Oh, it's just pure sex. So we've got hectic, hectic trim tabs. These things are a serious bit of kit. Check them out. But I'll get on the boat. I'm going to take my shoes off for this one. So if you come fishing on this boat, just know that uh, you're not wearing any shoes. <laughs> okay, so here we are. And you can see the colour. We've followed the haze grey flooring and, and liner. And then we got the white top. So, you know, the whole colour just flows throughout the whole boat. You know, those white engines. The, even the engines have grey on the bottom of them. It just, it's just unreal. But have a look at this thing. It is an absolute beast of a boat. My last 25 
you know, I absolutely loved that 25T. It did everything I wanted it to do um, and more. And, you know, I just think this thing, it's going to just a bigger version of it, right? There's more power, there's more weight, there's more width. It's just, you know, you hop on this boat and it's just, I can't even describe how friggin' unreal it is. Um, and I've gone all out on this thing, you know, we've, we've gone with a full Simrad system. Um, so we've got, I'll give you a bit of a look, we've got twin 16 inch screens, which I'll rip this off. So we've got the twin 16 inch screens here. Um, we've got a full autopilot system. We've got our Mercury vessel view. Okay, we have, um, that's for your phone charging, full jail audio system. Now. I absolutely went nuts on the JL Audio system. I think I probably put too many speakers in. Um, I went with six speakers, two sub, uh, four subs and two amps. So, you know, you turn this thing on um, halfway and it will blow your ears, ears <laughs> to pieces. But um, that's one thing on a boat. You've got to have an epic sound system. Um, now, as far as transducers go, um, I went all out on transducers as well. So we went with a... Uh, MR175 high wide, um, so that's through hole, and then we also have an MR3 kilowatt wet box, which was a mission to get get in. But I just figured if I'm going all out on this boat, I just want to go all out on everything. Um, we've got a epic leaning post. This thing here has storage underneath the seat. You can see <laughs> you can see the speakers. A nice foot rest. Um, we have, and this is one thing I really. Uh, wanted in my last boat or just found that i had a need for it is just like a, a fridge or um this thing's actually even better than what i thought because this thing here is actually a cooler with an ice ice um not an ice an esky plate oh, i'll pull this out so it's actually got an esky sorry and it's actually got an ice plate inside here so you turn this thing on and this is going to keep your food and drinks nice and cool and then i always found like we'd mix our drinks with our our fish and bait and stuff like that and it was just a pain in the neck so really stoked about about having that and that's just on a slide out there so open the latch slide it out you can use it as a seat the bilge is this bilge is spectacular fully um finished bilge and it's just it's amazing under there we have storage these are fish boxes on both sides so we can use them for fish fish um, eskies or um, storage we have the dual bait tanks now the best thing about dual, dual bait tanks is now I can keep my yakas on one side and then I can keep my herring on the other side or I can keep my squid on one side or whatever but they are huge absolutely huge um we've got cup holders absolutely everywhere so we've got cup holders up the front we've got cup holders on the rails and one thing um i just went all out on the rod holders as well so we've down both sides we have 10 rod holders down each side of the boat we've got them on the side of the console um you know i just when you're fishing i just think you should be able to you should be able to put a rod down wherever you stand on the boat and that's what you can do with this boat so there's absolutely rod holders everywhere we got the custom um key west key top uh t top now this thing i had this on my last boat and it was just well i had a soft top but this style and it's just so much better than the full um full hard top for casting you know you have so much more room where you can actually cast and, and work with the uh, we've got that custom t top um we've got the outriggers factory so they're all epic we got the radar i'm really happy with how that that t-top came out you know it's got the two two-tone color it's just insane um and then up the front here massive fish box so that's huge you can fit a body in there we've got another storage box here okay um and then we got storage on the side for fenders ropes all of that type of thing but the storage is just there's so much storage and then we've even got another um seat box here which is an esky box so that just pulls up so you can either use that for storage or whatever you want to store oh, it's bloody windy um that sound system like i was saying is absolutely insane so it's really loud <laughs> so really stoked about that 
Um, these type of boats don't come with anchor winches on them. Um, I guess in America they don't really do anchor winches. It's something I can put in at a later date, but um, yeah, we got a nice anchor well there. I don't for my type of fishing, I don't really anchor that much, so it's not really a massive concern to me. Um, you know, pop-up cleats, just things like this. I mean, you look at this boat and just you know, there's no screw holes in anything. You know, everything's just clean. Um, you know, they really have done an absolutely insane job. I'm going to show you this console because the console's insane. So um, we, you can see we've got the batteries. I went all out and went with four four batteries. I didn't want to muck around. I do a lot of trips away camping and, and on islands and stuff like that. And I really didn't want to muck around. So I'll put four batteries in the thing, um, went all out. We've actually got the transducers mounted up under here. We had to make a false floor, which they've done a great job on. And I'll give you a look at this wiring because Mate, this is something you just you don't see on boats um, generally in Australia there is the quality of, of wiring like this you know Americans they seriously Americans know how to build boats and you know you look at the wiring on this thing and it's just it's insane and the wiring that, that the guys at Boat Monster have done for all the extra stuff um, you know you can't even tell you, you, you would actually think the wiring is all factory but they've got the boat and fitted it out with all the electronics and stuff and you know they've they I've got to give it to them they really have done an epic job on, on the fit out of this boat and I'm just so stoked to maybe be able to get out and, well just to own one of these things but to get out and, and have a crack on this boat so you're going to be seeing heaps of content guys um you know I've got plenty of trips that I want to do um and you know take this boat bloody all over the all over the state so um thanks again to everyone for supporting the businesses and you know supporting the channel and everything and um yeah if you're not subscribed to the channel already please subscribe and there's going to be a hell of a lot more boat content coming up and yeah i just i need to get out and go fishing <laughs> and just enjoy this thing so thanks guys and i will see you in the next video cheers